Within this lesson, we'll decompose fractions into sums of smaller unit fractions using tape diagrams. Here we have a fraction bar. The whole thing is 1. Each of these parts is 1 third. If we were then to decompose each of these thirds into half, how many parts are there now? Right, there are six parts now. And so if we were looking at a third as before, how many of those six are shaded? Right, two of those six. So we can write one third as the sum of one six plus one six. Those do take up the same amount of space on my tape diagram. Recall also that we can write that as then as one third equals that whole number two times one six. If I was to go ahead and divide each of those six again, how many parts would I have now? Right, I would have 12, or 12 parts. And then so each of those is now worth a 12th. And then so I have 1 12th, 2 12th, 3 12th, 4 12th, equaling 1 third. One third does equal four times one twelfth. How many twelfths equal one six? Well, this was one six here, right? That was one six, and then so it's one six and one six there. There are two twelfths equaling one six. 2 twelfths does equal 1 6. Okay, here we're drawing a tape diagram where it is that the shaded part represents 1 fifth. Let's go ahead and decompose 1 fifth as the sum of smaller unit fractions. In this case, Let's try something different here, and that let's divide each of these parts, each of the one-fifths, into three equal parts. In doing so, we can read right from our tape diagram how many parts now that our unit fraction bar is divided into. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we are now into fifteenths. What would the addition sentence be for one-fifth when we are talking about fifteenths then? So one-fifth equals one, two, three. Three of those fifteenths. So as an addition sentence, it would look like this here. And of course, we could write it as a multiplication sentence as well. Three times one-fifteenth. Your turn to try using that same type tape diagram. What could you write for two fifths? Pause the video while you do your work. Well, for two fifths, it would look like this here. You could rewrite it, sum of unit fractions as one fifteenth plus one fifteenth plus one fifteenth plus one fifteenth, plus one fifteenth, plus one fifteenth. That is six times one fifteenth. Some of you may have written three times one fifteenth, 
plus 3 times 1 15. Let's work to draw a tape diagram to show that 2 6 is the sum of 4 twelfths. What can we start with? Well, let's start with a tape diagram for sure. The tape diagram being 1. And then let's go ahead and model 2 6. I divided it into 6 parts, and we're looking at 2 of them for 2 6. Let's see. Is it the sum of 4 twelfths? How would I get my model into twelfths? Well, it's already in 6, so if I divide each of those in half, then I will have 12 parts. And from our model, we have this, which is the same amount, which is how many twelfths? 4 twelfths, or 4 times 1 twelfth. So 2 6 does equal 1 twelfth plus 1 twelfth plus 1 twelfth plus 1 twelfth. 2 6 does equal 4 times 1 twelfth. What would 4 6 equal? There's 2 6, right? Wouldn't it be the same amount? Another 4 twelfths? So 4 6 is equal to 8 twelfths. What do you notice? We had 2 6 equaling 4 twelfths and 4 6 equaling 8 twelfths. Do you notice that each of those is doubled? 2 times 2 does equal 4. 6 times 2 does equal 12. We went from 6 to 12, so where we doubled that. Let's look at one last problem. Here, we're asked to draw a tape diagram to show 3 fourths decomposed in two different ways. Well, here's 3 fourths to begin with, where we had 3 fourths equaling 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. Let's see. Let's copy it down here so I can show it another way. What if we divided each of these into two parts? Then, for our three-fourths, then, that we were looking at, we're now talking about what? Eighths. And how many eighths are there? There are six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that three-fourths does equal six times one-eighth. And I could have written that also as three-fourths equals one-eighth plus one-eighth, plus one-eighth, plus one-eighth, plus one-eighth, plus one-eighth. Now, showing that a different way, I also could have divided that, each of those, force into three parts, even. And in doing so, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or nine, and in this case, there are 12 total, so 9 twelfths. So that 3 fourths does equal 9 twelfths, or 9 times 1 twelfth. You notice with 3 fourths to 6 8, we doubled the numerator and denominator. With 3 fourths equaling 9 twelfths, we tripled them, which makes sense because we went three times the amount of parts here, and in this case we went two times the amount of parts.